The GoPro Karma Grip is a great addition for on-the-go sports photography. Affiliate link below. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater, and the Bumblebee movie is still a thing. Now listen, I tend to go into seeing most movies with a very positive mindset. I want to be entertained. I want to I want to have a good time. I want to know that my money, my money is doing good things for me. But even I'm having issues with Transformers. The last night I haven't seen it. But I didn't want to. I I also saw part of like Age of Extinction and I was just turned off because you could tell Michael Bay stopped caring. But this Bumblebee spinoff, the very first of like what fourteen new movies coming out of that writer's brain trust in uh, in Paramount, uh, is is not directed by Michael Bay. Michael Bay is officially done, done with the Transformers franchise for the time being, and this is going to Travis Knight, the director of Kubo and the Two Strings, one of the guys behind Leica Animation, uh, which is a fantastic animation studio, and also the son of Ni- former Nike. Uh, or well, Nike founder, really, uh, uh, you know, uh, Pete Knight, Peter Knight. And so, you know, also Oregon homeboys. Uh, I, I lived right around the corner from Nike. So it's kind of like, what up, you know, but still, no, I mean, it's, it's just, it's Transformers. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this, but now we have the cast and we have a plot synopsis. So John Cena also forgot to mention that he's right here. John Cena's involved. So it says Paramount Pictures, in association with Hasbro, have announced today that the principal photography has commenced on Bumblebee. The film shoot will take place entirely in California, including Southern and Northern California. They've also announced the full Bumblebee cast and new plot details, which uh, you can see. Bumblebee will be released in the United States on December 21st, 2018, where it will open opposite DC Films' Aquaman. That's a horrible thing. That's a horrible thing. Why are you going to put Bumblebee up against Aquaman? All right, listen... Listen, look at look at the track record of 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 fucking uh of of Transformers movies lately. It's like they haven't I mean China loves it cuz it's explosion and cars and crap, you know, but uh, no 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 no, Aquaman, you, no, drop that a week earlier or or whatever, you know. But they want what they want is they want that sweet sweet Star Wars spot that's left open by not having uh, an episode there, not having anything there cuz a Han Solo movie opens in May, right? So there's that. Um and uh, Disney's Mary Poppins Returns will open four days later. So they're just, they're, they're, oh God. I hate it when they do this on the Christmas season, when they just start pushing, pushing movies out there. Uh, plus I'll have a one-year-old daughter at the time, so I'm going to have a real trouble getting to the theater. Uh, directed by Travis Knight, the film stars Haley Seinfeld, who's a good actress, Pamela Adlon, who's a great actress, John Cena. Cena's not bad. I have nothing against John Cena. I think he's very funny when he tries to be, but then again, I've also seen the Marine and the Marine was very much was like, was supposed to be like the rundown, you know, John Cena is this Marine who fights terrorists and other bad guys in the homeland. And it was like, he's not as charismatic in that way as the rock. Then again, I don't, I don't remember who the director of the Marine was, uh, but it wasn't Peter Berg who did the rundown, who was able to really showcase and focus on the rocks personality. Um, <laughs> uh, Jorge Lindenberg Jr., Jason Drucker, uh, Kenneth Choi, uh, R- R- Ricardo Hoyos, uh, Abby Quinn, Rachel Crow, and Grace Dizini. Uh, I, I think Kenneth Choi was also in Spider-Man Homecoming as well as Captain America, the first Avenger related characters, by the way, if I remember if it's who I think it is. Uh, now here's, here's what the plot details are of this movie. Uh, on the run in the year 1987, Bumblebee finds refuge in a junkyard in a small California beach town. Charlie, played by Haley Seinfeld, on the cusp of turning 18 and trying to find her place in the world, discovers Bumblebee, battle-scarred and broken. When Charlie revives him, she quickly learns this is no ordinary yellow VW bug. So, I mean, they're clearly going back to the origins of the VW bug. They're clearly doing all of those things. Uh, which is, which is cool. And I, 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 I keep thinking back to the original movie, like didn't Bumblebee come down with them? I mean, we never 100% saw it, but it was very much implied that Bumblebee, you know, came down and everything else. 
Um, and you know, it was, it was implied with that. And so this is totally like, you know, they're going to probably explain that, that he was already there and that's why he can't talk. And, you know, but then, but then he'll spend 1987, 2007, 20 years in, in, you know, in California, waiting, waiting, waiting for Sam Witwicky. So what's going to happen at the end of the Bumblebee spinoff movie, what's going to put him in a junkyard as a freaking old school, you know, VW bug for 20 years for Sam to come by. Like, that just plot wise makes no sense to me unless it's open. Like it, this is kind of like, I, I feel like this and like captain Marvel are just going back in time for the sake of trying to open up stuff to do from then until when we started the franchise uh, in order to kind of like, you know, flesh out a few areas and also showcase that they truly don't have an idea for what to do with this uh, to be, to be perfectly bluntly honest, transformers should just reboot itself, right? It should just, go back to to zero and they they might they might be tempted to do that but they just want this to kind of lay the groundwork i i'm 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 just going to put it to you like this it it didn't work for uh for dracula untold it's it's not going to work for this and uh and, and that's that's how i feel about that it says that the film was produced uh just real quick sorry dracula untold was a dracula movie that was coming out by universal at the same time they were, they announced this new monsters universe or the dark universe and uh, then they tried to shoehorn that in uh to being part of the dark universe and then when the movie failed to do gangbusters even though it was well received critically i think to an extent they opted to just kind of like sh- you know move it off to the side and forget that it even exists so there's a little bit of history for you there uh, the film was produced by Transformers veterans uh, Lorenzo D. Bonaventura and Michael Bay, along with executive producer Steven Spielberg. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's it's okay. So the screenplay is written by Christina Hodson, who wrote Unforgettable, that movie that came out a few months ago that you already forgot about. Uh, it's the movie with the Rosario Dawson and and uh, Catherine Heigl, and it's like some weird kind of like you know fatal attraction, but kind of reverse scenario. So I I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. They they it's it's a plot detail of how Bumblebee comes 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 to meet humans and stuff, but. Uh, they're shooting it right now. I, I'm sure Travis Knight wouldn't direct it unless there was at least some form of a decent script. I I, I just I don't know. I just I, I I grew up with Transformers. I love Transformers, but I'm I am I think at this point officially just over Transformers. Uh, that being said, I will still probably go see this if it looks good. Um, I, I yeah, but in the I'm just I'm not I'm I'm in no way. Can my nipples cut glass? They're not even remotely erect for this. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? you think this is going to be any good? Do you think this is going to be a lot of fun? Do you think it's going to be shit? Let me know in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day. Peace out.